Hey guys, today I'm going to be drawing handy snacks. These are kind of prepared cheese and cracker in a little plastic container snack type thing. Uh, they're a really nostalgic childhood food for me. So I thought I would do a little illustration on them. Um, I'm going to be working on a watercolor block of rough cold pressed paper and I'm doing a simple direct overhead perspective. Before I started filming, I did a basic pencil sketch to get down the proportions and the composition. And since this is basically a collection of squares, I want to make sure that the composition has an organic feel. So I've arranged the crackers in a haphazard way to look more scattered and dynamic. For the first layer of color, I'm going in with my Prismacolor water soluble pencils. I tend to reach for these first whenever I'm working on a subject that has quite a bit of inherent texture as the crackers in this piece do. Whenever I use water soluble pencils, I'm generally just aiming to get a basic idea of the colors and values without focusing too much on any of the details. So I tend to rely mainly on the mid-tones and steer clear of anything that's super dark or super light. Once all the colors are laid down, I blend them out with water and a size 2 round acrylic brush. As you can see, any detail that was there is quickly obscured by the water, so this really helps me avoid getting too caught up in the details early on. After that first layer is all blended out and dried, I start with my Prismacolor softcore pencils. Again, initially I'm focusing on mainly the broad colors and values, working to describe the form and the structure of the subject. Since the crackers and even the packaging are all quite flat, I have to be very intentional in building up and amplifying the subject's form even beyond what is actually there in some cases. Usually I work in layers across an entire piece, but in this instance I ended up working layer by layer on each cracker, and then on the cheese, then on the spreader, and the packaging. This was definitely different than my usual process, but I've noticed a lot of other illustrators work this way, and I have to say I didn't mind it. As the piece progresses and I have the mid-tones and basic form established throughout the composition, I can start adding the darker values and describing more of the detail. This is especially important when it comes to the edges and corners on the packaging and on the spreader. Once I'm pretty sure I'm done with the colored pencils, I add a few bright opaque highlights with the Sharpie water-based paint pen and call it a day. Here's the finished piece. Okay, that's it for today. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye!